Pandemic students' math scores dropped by almost 10%. Wow, so more than half. <laughs> New York City is now requiring employers to disclose salary ranges in all job listings. Employers must list everything ranging from the top salary all the way down to the female salary. <laughs> Some parents uh, in Oregon are having large groups of their children ride their bikes to school at the same time in a formation they're calling a bike bus. And pedophiles are calling a buffet. <laughs> Police in Queens were searching for a suspect who hijacked a bus and then immediately crashed it into a utility pole. Okay, so we know it's a woman. <laughs> Tomorrow is the New York City Marathon, or as Fox News will report it, undocumented Africans run wild in streets of New York. China has launched the third <laughs> China has launched the third and final module for its permanent space station. Now all they have to do is launch some children to assemble it. An Arizona woman was arrested after she allegedly went day drinking while her five-month-old child was sitting home alone, like a loser. <laughs> Texas police arrested a woman who broke into a man's house, stripped naked, and slept in one of his beds. The man called the police when he realized the woman was not attractive. Researchers say the number of gray whales off western North America has continued to decline for several years. It's a sad fact that makes me wonder if whale oil is really the best way to give my hair this amazing volume. <laughs> British officials have unveiled King Charles III's new royal monogram. The C stands for Charles, the R is for Rex, and the three is for how many hundreds of yards Prince Andrew has to stay away from schools. <laughs> The Postal Service announced a new stamp honoring the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. There's also a stamp honoring Clarence Thomas that says, flip me over and start licking. A video was posted of a recent Smash Mouth concert in which, I know, recent, uh, a recent Smash Mouth concert in which the lead singer, singer is seen slurring his words doing a Nazi salute and threatening to kill an audience member. And it gets worse, he then started singing. <laughs> Police in England are now using specially trained dogs to detect semen at crime scenes. This replaces the old method of detecting semen, slipping on it. <laughs> Elon Musk took over Twitter. Use of the N-word on the site has reportedly jumped 500%. It's the biggest increase in the use of the N-word since the last time I stubbed my toe. A woman in Slovakia helped arrest a man robbing a gas station by performing oral sex on him until police arrived. The woman was able to stall him for that long by being terrible at it. <laughs> Tensions are on the rise after North Korea launched more than 20 missiles into the ocean, and all because the Little Mermaid is black. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> this week, President Biden pardoned thousands of convicted marijuana users, and it feels like maybe he celebrated with them a little because yesterday, Biden gave a speech at a car factory and opened with this. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. <laughs> A group of researchers are trying to determine why humans have a desire to feed other animals, such as birds and squirrels. But if I had to guess, it's probably because their wife passed away. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that'd make you laugh. <laughs> During a White House ceremony, President Biden wished Kamala Harris a happy birthday, then accidentally called her a great president. <laughs> Even worse, he was talking to a portrait of Michelle Obama. After trying for several years, the New York City Commission voted to remove a statue of Thomas Jefferson from City Hall. They were finally able to remove it by telling the statue there was a hot black lady outside. <laughs> Well, the, 
<laughs> Residents in Rome are upset after a wild boar and her six piglets were killed on a playground near the Vatican. But it's like they say, nothing good ever happens on a playground near the Vatican. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this week, there was a full moon known as the beaver moon, which can be seen about a month after a waxing moon. That's a good joke. That's a good one. Starbucks has launched a new eco-friendly program called Borrow a Cup in which customers return their cup after finishing their drink so the store can use it again. And Dunkin' Donuts plans to compete with this promotion by not doing that. The house, the house where Lizzie Borden murdered her parents has been sold for $2 million and will be turned into a bed and breakfast. Though a bed and breakfast where a murder happened is pretty much just a day's in. Virginia has become the first state in the South to abolish the death penalty. So if you'll excuse me, I've got some white women to whistle at. <laughs> the White House has introduced a new plan to put nutrition labels on the front instead of the back. So to give you an idea of the overall health of Americans, we're too lazy to do this. Orthodox Jewish leaders in New York City lashed out at a newly imposed coronavirus restriction in their neighborhoods by setting fires and burning masks. And it's a miracle because the masks burned for eight nights. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's a good one. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Firefighters in Florida rescued a horse that fell into a septic tank and was nearly submerged in raw sewage. A horse submerged in raw sewage is also known as an Arby's beef and cheddar. Arby's, we eat the horse. In the wake of the R. Kelly verdict, there's a growing movement online to force music streaming services to remove his music. I mean, after all, streaming is basically what got him in trouble in the first place. <laughs> The statue of George Floyd on display in a New York City park was defaced for the second time. Police are searching for the suspect and are planning to serve him with a job application. <laughs> a woman in Taiwan who thought her boyfriend was cheating cut off his penis and flushed it down the toilet. I'm sorry, thought he was cheating? <laughs> South Carolina lawmakers voted to add firing squad to his execution methods. And I think it's nice that people will finally get the chance to be shot after they're found guilty. <laughs> a woman in Arizona gave birth to a 14 pound baby boy. So now Arizona has two Grand Canyons. <laughs> it's a mad joke. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get it. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, a new study shows that the COVID vaccine does not cause infertility in men or women. Damn it, why did I get this? A professional golfer in Florida was arrested after he tried to meet a 15-year-old girl he met online who turned out to be a detective, said the golfer Mulligan. <laughs> Come on, man. Sadly, there's more. For those of you wondering, in golf terms, a 15-year-old is three under par. <laughs> it was reported that adult model Belle Dufine is making over one million dollars a month by selling her used bath water, which is crazy because it doesn't taste that good. <laughs> a new study says that the combined mass of every ant on Earth is greater than the mass of every mammal and bird combined, thanks mostly to this juicy bitch. <laughs> Walmart announced that members of its Walmart Plus subscription service will be able to take advantage of Black Friday sales four hours early. Experts believe it could be the most violent gathering of Walmart shoppers since January 6th. <laughs> Border officials have discovered $400,000 worth of meth hidden inside pumpkins. They could tell the pumpkins were full of meth because they only had like three teeth left. Mm. Steakhouse Peter Luger 
has partnered with Madame Tussauds to filling its dining room with wax figures of celebrities during the pandemic. So now you can enjoy a steak with Jimmy Fallon or have a dessert with Audrey Hepburn or have a drink with, oh no, Bill Cosby. <laughs> In the wake of the ceasefire agreement between Israel and Hamas, insiders praise President Biden's light touch when dealing with Benjamin Netanyahu. But in fairness, everything Biden does involves some kind of touch. <laughs> <laughs> Pfizer also said that its COVID vaccine is safe and effective for teens aged 12 to 15. Well, that's a relief, said Matt Gates. <laughs> In a new documentary, an ex-girlfriend of Prince Andrew describes Jeffrey Epstein and Jelaine Maxwell as Batman and Robin. Come on, what does Batman and Robin have in common with a billionaire that grooms teenagers? <laughs> Disneyland's Snow White ride is being criticized because Prince Charming kisses Snow White without her consent while she's asleep. Which still isn't as bad as Universal Studios' new Cosby the Ride. <laughs> A growing number of NFL players are filling up their, their off time by playing chess with each other. And also, let's see here, domestic violence. <laughs> That's how they're spending their time, Colin. <laughs> Researchers have discovered a piece of 20 million year old petrified wood on the Greek island of Lesbos. They knew it was from Lesbos because it's double-ended. Oh, man. <laughs> A hundred art industry figures have criticized four different museum plans to postpone exhibits featuring an artist's paintings of the KKK. But if you want to see portraits of Klansmen, you can always search Jost on Ancestry.com. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Yankees legend Whitey Ford died this week at the age of 91. Ford reminds us of a simpler time when you could just name your kid. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Joe. Scientists in Europe are studying a skeleton that they say is rewriting the history of syphilis. The skeleton is better known by its stage name, Russell Brand. Oh. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg visited the site of the train derailment and was criticized for wearing leather dress boots. Oh, but give him a break. That's all they had at Baby Gap. <laughs> President Biden said Friday that he would visit the site of the Baltimore bridge collapse because, like that bridge, Biden is no longer connecting with black communities. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> President Biden went to Walter Reed Medical Center for his annual physical. Doctors said Biden was fit as a fiddle in that he's old-timey and held together by strings. <laughs> FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried has been convicted of securities fraud, wire fraud, and illegally making a wig out of a labradoodle. <laughs> The former cryptocurrency CEO now faces up to 110 years in prison where, ironically, he will be used as an alternative currency. Colin. A new poll shows that supporters of President Biden and Donald Trump are sharply divided over where they get their news from. People who support Biden are more likely to get their news from newspapers and mainstream media, while Trump supporters get their news from T-shirts. <laughs> Vice President Kamala Harris praised Beyonce for her new country album, saying that she has reclaimed country music's black roots. Um, I'm sorry, Hootie? <laughs> no love for Hootie? Georgia representative and cocaine bear Marjorie Taylor Greene <laughs> tweeted, the country needs a national divorce, which makes sense because she's the most divorced looking woman I have ever seen. <laughs> Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is releasing a new memoir called The Courage to Be Free, even though The Courage to Be Free sounds like a black history book he's banned. <laughs> During a campaign event marking the start of Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, President Biden criticized Japan as being xenophobic, which is crazy because why would the Japanese be scared of foreigners? <laughs> 
Drake just dropped another disc record, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just say that when I bomb. <laughs> Sam Bankman Freed, the former CEO of the cryptocurrency company FTX, was arrested on fraud charges in the Bahamas. I'm going to guess while swimming in a T-shirt. <laughs> Prosecutors allege that Bankman Freed took funds from FTX customers to make large political donations. That money will now be used to make sure the cameras outside his jail cell aren't working. <laughs> I like this so far. <laughs> and plans for a three-year-long around-the-world cruise were canceled after organizers could not find a ship for the voyage. Guys, call me. <laughs> President Biden said that the National Guard should not be called in to deal with campus protests, but I'm just happy that he's finally not sending military aid somewhere. <laughs> In an interview, Senator Mitt Romney said that he will not vote for Donald Trump over Joe Biden. Now, some of you may remember Mitt Romney. <laughs> Monday is National Polar Bear Day, previously known as National Polar Bears Day. <laughs> really completed a sentence. <laughs> You never know, Colin. <laughs> Some owners of McDonald's franchises are reportedly concerned about a campaign partnership with Cardi B, especially the ad where they claim their burgers have a wet ass patty. Oh. <laughs> Scientists in New <laughs> Scientists in New Guinea have rediscovered a long lost mammal called a monotreme, which has the quills of a hedgehog, the snout of an anteater, the feet of a mole, and the ass of an angel. <laughs> I'm just reading I, yeah, it, man. Reading. After his arraignment, Donald Trump spoke to supporters at Mar-a-Lago and said there was a very dark cloud over our beloved country, which is also what he used to call Obama. <laughs> Insiders are saying that since Donald Trump's indictment, his daughter Ivanka has been absent and his other daughter Tiffany is trying to take her place by his side just as soon as she gets through security. <laughs> Alaska Airlines has announced plans to buy Hawaiian Airlines for nearly two billion dollars. Alaska and Hawaiian combined will be called Technically American Airlines. <laughs> McDonald's is releasing a new Grandma McFlurry, which they say tastes like Grandma's favorite treats that she hid in her purse. It's a combination of butterscotch, crunchy candy pieces, and a big black vibrator. <laughs> oh, boy. No? Fishermen in Florida have discovered a 214-year-old clam that was born the same year as Abraham Lincoln. The clam credits his longevity to staying away from the theater. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I love this audience. <laughs> this is going great for me. <laughs> a woman. <laughs> President Biden made a drastic change in his immigration policy, saying he would be willing to shut down the border if given the power by Congress. It's the kind of unexpected shift in direction Biden usually only makes in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> the Biden campaign is trying to appeal to black voters as polls show their support for Biden has declined. It's getting so bad, he now only has support from Obama's white half. <laughs> After new polls show Donald Trump leading Joe Biden, Democratic strategists are calling Biden's re-election campaign a five-alarm fire, which is scary for Biden because in a fire, you have to use the stairs. Um. <laughs> That's how he really dances, too. <laughs> First Lady Jill Biden said in an interview that she maintains a good balance in the types of advice she offers President Biden, but it's mostly hold on to the railing. <laughs> this week, South Carolina attorney Alex Murdaugh was found guilty of murder and also found guilty of looking like Will Ferrell dressed as Conan O'Brien. Nikki Haley has launched a series of campaign ads targeting both Donald Trump and Joe Biden called Grumpy Old Men. Okay, but at least they're men. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago 
Israel became the largest U.S. city to call for a ceasefire in Gaza, and in return, Gaza called for a ceasefire in Chicago. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> if, convicted, if convicted, Hunter Biden could be sentenced to up to 17 years in prison, which would be the first time any Biden has successful. Tom Brady revealed that he has regrets about last week's Netflix roast, saying he didn't like the way it affected his kids. But that isn't stopping him from performing in tomorrow night's Netflix roast of Tom Brady's kids. King Charles' portrait is being criticized for depicting him on a harsh red background. But in the royal family, that's better than having a black background. <laughs> McDonald's is releasing a new Grandma McFlurry, which they say tastes like Grandma's favorite treats that she hid in her purse. It's a combination of butterscotch, crunchy candy pieces, and a big black vibrator. <laughs> okay. I won't do it on air then. <laughs> It was reported that a yacht in the Strait of Gibraltar was sunk after a group of orcas attacked it. Uh, nice try, orcas, but we're never releasing the prisoners. An upcoming TV special starring actor James Vanderbeek will attempt to raise awareness about prostate cancer testing. It's called Dawson's Crack. <laughs> And luxury apartment buildings around the country are offering new amenities, including IV drips to help recover from hangovers. And if that sounds appealing, learn more at Alcoholics Anonymous. Pro-Palestinian protesters walked out of Jerry Seinfeld's <laughs> commencement address at Duke University, and I think that's disgraceful. During these difficult times, it's important to support our Jewish friends. That's why the only chant you'll hear from my heart, Colin, breaks my heart. Before her testimony, Stormy Daniels agreed not to describe Trump's genitalia in court after she was offered hush money by the jury. <laughs> Israeli officials are reportedly furious after the U.S. withheld a shipment of weapons. But yes, sometimes people get angry at their intervention. <laughs> President Biden on Tuesday issued a call to fight hate against anti-Semitism, saying there is no place for it in America. But on the other hand, Collins Country Club. <laughs> but then Florida Senator Rick Scott appeared in court to support Trump. So in a way, we did get to see what Trump's penis would look like. It's a nice place. Oh. <laughs> At a White House ceremony honoring the WNBA champion Las Vegas Aces, President Biden mistakenly called player Candace Parker one of the greatest all-time coaches. Worse, he thought this woman was their point guard. During a ceremony in Russia, Vladimir Putin was sworn in for his fifth term as president by placing his hand on the Russian Constitution, which is just a label on a bottle of vodka. A new plan has opened... <laughs> A new plan has opened in Iceland, which is designed to remove climate pollution from the atmosphere using the world's largest vacuum. Aw, a new vacuum, just in time for Mother's Day. I don't know why I thought... A growing number of women who... Pope Francis ended a Vatican summit by promising the Catholic Church would confront the clergy sex abuse head on instead of their usual way, face down, ass up. A student in Texas, Whitey. <laughs> <laughs> it is dark. A woman, oh, it's getting worse. <laughs> a woman flying to Detroit said she woke up to a pastor urinating on her which explains why her dream was about her being baptized. A new law has been passed in California requiring companies to have more diversity in their board of directors, which is how I forced my way onto the board of BET. <laughs> BET, there's gonna be some changes around here. Senator Bernie Sanders suggested that he, <laughs> that he supports replacing fellow Democrats Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. Damn, Bernie, stabbing your own co-workers in the back? That's unforgivable. I would never suggest Collins should be fired, no matter how much better I think Bowen would be.
Hugh Hefner's former girlfriends revealed that the Playboy Mansion is haunted. She knew it was haunted because if you turn on a black light, you see ectoplasm everywhere. <laughs> Gen Z icon Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> is petitioning the court for the return of his rifle so he can destroy it. I don't know, careful Kyle, trying to get your memorabilia back is how they finally got OJ. The head of Chicago's police union is urging officers to defy the city's vaccine mandate, which is weird because usually Chicago police can't wait to take the shot. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> police in Ohio say that a report of a homeless man sleeping on a bench turned out to be a statue, which was a huge relief because they shot it 15 times. <laughs> Pebbles, who was the world's oldest living dog, has died at the age of 22. But it's okay, his owners knew this was coming if they didn't keep him off my yard. <laughs> A new poll shows that 75% of LGBTQ voters support Joe Biden. But 0% of them support Joe Biden guessing what the B, T, and Q stand for. <laughs> The Kremlin celebrated the illegal annexation of Ukraine with a night of entertainment in Red Square. Say what you will, but a gig's a gig. <laughs> Startup airline Boom Supersonic is hoping to eventually fly passengers anywhere in the world in four hours or less for just $100. So get ready to fly fast and cheap on the only airline named after the sound of an explosion. <laughs> This is fun. A Canadian woman was fined more than $25,000 for illegally importing bull semen. Meanwhile, in the U.S., bull semen is sold legally under the name White Claw. <laughs> Doctors in China removed more than 120 magnetic beads swallowed by a five-year-old boy. Wow. Wait till his boss at the factory hears about this. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> The CDC, the CDC's warning about a salmonella outbreak that's linked to bird feeders. Yet another piece of bad news for people who eat out of bird feeders. A conductor, a conductor of a bullet train is facing disciplinary action after he left the controls to use the bathroom while the train was traveling at nearly 100 miles an hour. But brother, that chili was traveling at the same speed. <laughs> New Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney has been accused of spreading white supremacist ideas, which is crazy. We're now counting Italians as white? <laughs> Sizzler restaurants have announced that as a result of the impact from COVID, they are filing for bankruptcy, which is probably a good idea since the Sizzler buffet is the closest thing America has to a Wuhan wet market. <laughs> The population of Los Angeles has fallen for the third straight year. Well, it's like Colin always says, L.A. is just not the same without Harvey. <laughs> you always yeah, say it, man. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, man. That's cool. Researchers say that a system on the International Space Station that turns astronaut urine into drinking water could be used to provide clean water on Earth, which is the kind of amazing innovation that makes me think, wait, then what are astronaut brownies made of? <laughs> the chief, well, you're not going to like this. The chief, <laughs> the chief of the Cherokee Nation is calling on car maker Jeep to stop using the tribe's name on its vehicles. So Jeep has agreed to change the name to, wow, the Aunt Jemima Mobile. <laughs> Singer R. Kelly was found guilty of racketeering and sex trafficking this week, but won't be sentenced until next May, after R. Kelly's lawyers successfully negotiated one more school year. <laughs> uh. It was reported that federal authorities investigating the sex trafficking accusations against Matt Gates have secured the cooperation of his ex-girlfriend, but not until after her prom. <laughs> Doctors say that a man who came into an emergency room complaining about chest pains had a 10 centimeter chunk of cement lodged in his heart. Wow. Anyways, he's dead. <laughs> a 90... <laughs> 
Mattel is releasing a Helen Keller Barbie doll. Just remember not to let her drive the Barbie Corvette. <laughs> a British woman was shocked when she discovered a four foot long python in her toilet. But hey, that's Indian food for you. <laughs> you wish you could go back to the Grand Canyon joke. Yeah. <laughs> Officials in Georgia say that more than 50 children may have been exposed to coronavirus by a mall Santa, which is the second worst thing a mall Santa can expose children to. The U.S. men's soccer team failed to qualify for the Olympics for the third time in a row. But fellas, keep your heads up and remember that win or lose, you will always get paid more than the women's team. Sesame, Sesame Street has introduced two new black Muppets to help explain racial difference to children, which begs the question, are these Muppets white? <laughs> Thursday was National No Broad Day, which I celebrated by not supporting women. <laughs> it's a broad joke. In the darkness of the night, a flicker starts to glow. A beacon in the shadows, a light that starts to flow Illuminating pathways where once there was despair In the depths of obscurity, hope begins to flare Like a flame in the wind, I ignite from within Casting rays of brilliance, banishing the din With each step I take, I brighten up the way In the realm of shadows, I become the day I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light Through the tunnels of uncertainty, I'll be the guide For I am the bearer of hope in me, dreams reside In the labyrinth of life, where shadows dance and play I'm the ray of sunshine, turning night into day With every glimmer I cast, I unveil the unseen in the tapestry of existence, I'm the golden sheen From the darkest corners to the highest peak I'm the radiant glow that even shadows seek With every flicker, every beam I emit I dispel the darkness, I never submit I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light through the tunnels of uncertainty, I'll be the guide For I am the bearer of hope in me, dreams reside In the symphony of life, I'm the crescendo's rise In the canvas of the universe, I paint the skies So let the darkness tremble, let the shadows flee For in the heart of radiance, I'll always be I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light. Tuesday was National Puppy Day, unfortunately, at Subway. <laughs> it was revealed that Freddy, the world's tallest dog, has died. The cause of death has been listed as ceiling fan. <laughs> This week, Britain's most eligible bachelor, Prince Andrew, <laughs> officially deleted his Twitter account after he realized that's not the app with all the dancing teenagers. <laughs> Catholic leaders issued new pandemic guidelines for Ash Wednesday, discouraging priests from wiping ashes directly off people's foreheads. And I think no touching could just be a great new rule in general. <laughs> Fisher Price has launched an online museum showcasing its toys over the past 90 years. Or you can see them in person at America's most famous toy museum, the Neverland Ranch. <laughs> Southwest Airlines has changed their policy for emotional support animals and will now only allow cats and dogs on board. While over at Spirit, everyone's given a snake. <laughs> 
<laughs> M&M's announced that they've redesigned their iconic M&M characters after people requested that the brown M&M not look like a teacher who has sex with her students. <laughs> Insiders are also saying that during meetings, President Biden repeatedly uses the F word in conversation. More concerning, the F word he keeps using is forget. Police in Florida say that multiple shots were fired during a fight outside of Chuck E. Cheese, but there were no victims located. Hmm, maybe check the pizza? <laughs> A new, <laughs> a new study by astronomers finds that the galaxy is not as black as previously thought after it was seen dating a white lady. <laughs> a new study finds that despite women making less money than men, more single women in the U.S. own homes than single men, thanks to a phenomenon economists call divorce. <laughs> Doctors in Iowa have confirmed a dog disease that can be passed on to humans. Fine, I'll wear a condom. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. For the first time ever, two brothers will be facing off against each other in the Super Bowl. Incidentally, two brothers in the Super Bowl is why my grandfather won't be watching. <laughs> On oh, February, man, wow. <laughs> Mental health experts are now recommending that children start being screened for anxiety when they are eight years old, because it can be pretty stressful down at that old iPhone factory. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wildlife officials in Tennessee have captured a 500-pound black bear living on a college campus, a black bear that, let's face it, took the spot of more deserving white and Asian bears. <laughs> Elon Musk offered to buy Twitter for over $40 billion so he can loosen its free speech rules. That's how badly white guys want to use the N-word. <laughs> a New Jersey man was arrested after he ran over a woman multiple times in a road rage incident. Said the woman, sorry, sorry. <laughs> A 220-carat diamond known as The Rock will become the largest white diamond ever auctioned off. Wow, 220 carats. I mean, can you imagine the size of the child who mined that? <laughs> it's huge, man. <laughs> A substitute teacher in North Carolina has resigned after she reportedly told a class of elementary students that Martin Luther King Jr. killed himself. In her defense, he is the one who decided to keep running his mouth. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're gonna get me murdered. <laughs> I want to switch it up a little. Che didn't write this one. This is all me. <laughs> To hear this. <laughs> Last week was National Rosa Parks Day, or as we call it in my house, Uppity Bus Passenger Day. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get about that one. Virginia has become the first state in the South to abolish the death penalty. So if you'll excuse me, I've got some white women to whistle at. <laughs> Mel Gibson is reportedly in talks to direct a new Lethal Weapon movie, but if you want to see a broken down black guy team up with a handsome racist, just watch Weekend Update. <laughs> a growing number of NFL players are filling up their, their off time by playing chess with each other. And also, let's see here, domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they're spending their time, Colin. This week, Britain's most eligible bachelor, Prince Andrew, <laughs> officially deleted his Twitter account after he realized that's not the app with all the dancing teenagers. Hefty has introduced pumpkin spice into trash bags, and I gotta say, pumpkin spice into trash bags is probably the best slur for white people I've ever heard. <laughs> 
Controversy <laughs> after it allowed users to talk with Jesus and Hitler and one guy who thinks he's both. <laughs> just news, guys. <laughs> this day was National Coffee with a Cop Day. And something tells me cops like their coffee black with a couple of shots in it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> New York City is now requiring employers to disclose salary ranges in all job listings. Employers must list everything ranging from the top salary all the way down to the female salary. <laughs> A new report finds that as people move into formerly wild areas of Africa, human activity is disrupting chimpanzee culture. Incidentally, chimpanzee culture is also what my grandpa calls hip-hop. Why? <laughs> I wouldn't have said that. A student in Texas, who is nicknamed White Lightning, set a high school record by running the 100-meter dash in 9.98 seconds. Coincidentally, people call me White Lightning because I also finish in under 10 seconds. <laughs> German researchers have recorded the shortest interval of time for an event to begin and end. The event finished so quickly, scientists have named it Che. This is fun. An alligator in Florida was photographed swimming with a football in its mouth. Turning now to sports news, Tom Brady is missing. A personal injury attorney in Florida allegedly drove her car into four people. Said the attorney, have you been injured in an accident? <laughs> A new lawsuit accuses Burger King of falsely advertising their Whoppers as bigger than what people actually get. It's the same accusation made in the case of women versus Michael Che. <laughs> it was reported that after Morgan Wallen lost his recording contract when he was caught on video using the N-word, sales for his albums rose over a thousand percent, proving my long-held theory that if NBC would just let me say it, the ratings will go up. <laughs> Tôi sẽ là người giàu có nhất trong Lockwood này. Tiền. Này, ông già nhân nhân vụ đây. Rồi đó, bây giờ chạy bên đây, xong rồi chạy qua bên kia, chạy bên kia, xong rồi chạy qua bên đây. Cực nhỉ? Hay hay hay. Nhảy lên. Nhảy lên. Đó, nhảy lên. Đó, thích lộn mè vậy đó. Bộ khoan. Cái chỗ kia nằm đâu ạ? À? Bên đây hay gì á? Ừ, bên đây nè. Đi hơi lố rồi đó bạn ơi Đánh hỏi chuột xuống biển nữa Thế xuất hiện bất hình lình sau lưng mình nè Đó chuột vậy cho nó nghệ thuật Cho nó nghệ chứ không gì Mà chuột phải nhanh cái thằng nãy đi không kịp Ê Chị dưới đây đâu À thôi Đánh ở dưới đi
quên còn nhiệm vụ còn nhiệm vụ cái gì mà bất cẩn vậy nè còn nhiệm vụ nha không có không có bỏ giữa chừng vậy mất uy tín rồi hết